Unity is not your strength. It is your weakness. I think you're underestimating humanity. Hold on to something! The crew of the USS Enterprise is stranded on a planet deep within an uncharted nebula, where they grapple with an enemy seeking to assemble a deadly biological weapon. The good! I would like to give the cast of this movie props in light of the fact that they're playing familiar characters and have a really big job ahead of them, and all in all, I think they fill the shoes of these characters well. It comes across well from the actors that they are inhabiting their roles rather than just repeating lines. That leads to interaction between characters that feels not only genuine, but very fun as well. A lot of these interactions are also really funny, most of them taking place between Kirk, Scotty, Bones, and Spock. In addition to all the technology you're familiar with seeing in these movies, a point is also made to show us technology that wasn't featured in previous movies. Which is much appreciated because the simple fact is, future technology is cool. As most of you will know, Larry Nimoy, who got famous for playing Spock in the original Star Trek series and movies, passed away February of last year. So as you would expect, there are a couple scenes in this movie that are dedicated to paying tribute to him. In a way, it did add a bit of a layer to how some of the characters interacted with each other, but more than anything, it was touching, and I think it showed that the cast had a lot of genuine appreciation for the legacy left behind by Leonard Nimoy. A legacy that I think Zachary Quinto, the actor who plays the current Spock, is living up to very well. The Star Trek reboot films have always focused a little more on the action aspect than the exploration aspect of Star Trek, and they keep that tradition going through in this movie. The action elements are pretty good, and I have a particular affinity for an action sequence that takes place in the climax of this movie, though admittedly, it is for one particular element of the sequence rather than just the sequence itself. I enjoy what was done with the villain in this movie. I found myself to be curious about where he came from and what his motivations were, outside of just it being a necessary element to the plot. So it is kind of neat to see this backstory unravel, and who knows, you might actually feel a little sympathetic for this villain. The Iffy. The special effects of this movie, I would say I'd lean in favor of them being mostly good, especially for the stuff that's practically done. But naturally, there are moments in the film where CGI is necessary, and normally I don't have a keen eye for this kind of thing, but I actually did pick out a couple points in the movie where the CGI was not terrible, but questionable. Something I'm getting tired of seeing in these Star Trek movies is something at the beginning that sets the stage for the status quo to be changed with our characters. Now, if these changes were to actually take place, I might be okay with it. I would be okay with these characters evolving, going, doing new things, and exploring what that means for their character. The main problem I have is that anything that would substantially change the status quo never ends up sticking. I might see the argument that part of us doesn't want the status quo to change. We like these characters, we like seeing them as a team, we want them to stick together. But the unfortunate part about that is that it limits the amount we're allowed to develop these characters and kind of stagnates their growth. Speaking of things not changing, the same set of words has been used to end every set of Star Trek films in this reboot saga. However, the third movie did something a little different with how this phrase was delivered, and you know what, I think this is the proper way to update that phrase. The bad. The camera shakes quite a bit during some of the shots in this movie, namely during the action scenes. In a lot of other movies, this didn't bother me to a huge degree. This one, it did. While watching this movie, I found that my investment in the characters and the emotional stakes of the movie just didn't feel as strong as they have in the two previous movies. Now, this could be the case for a few different reasons. Maybe it's because we have a new director this time around. Maybe it's because the characters are in situations we're just used to seeing them in by this point. Or maybe just for whatever reason, the performances didn't quite as effectively communicate the desperation and the sadness or the emotion of any of the scenes quite as well as they have in the previous movies. The verdict? The first film in the reboot saga is still the best. The second one, while it has a few problems, is still very good in my opinion. The third one is the one I enjoyed the least out of the three, but I did still enjoy it. Ultimately, the way I see it, these are action-adventure space films with Star Trek characters, and for what they are, they are fun. This is Detective Steve, and to both of the Trek actors we've lost recently, may they rest in peace.